this is Chicho. Um, what I wanted to do is throw my uh, two cents into the discussion of how to uh, manage your comic book collection. If you've been collecting for a long time, then you're going to have a lot of boxes, right? And there's a lot of discussion online and uh, just within the community of how best to store comic books um, so they don't take up all your living space, basically, right? And uh, for me, as you may know, I've been collecting for a long time, about 30 years now or so. And um, I got a fair bit of boxes, uh, mainly long boxes. And about, uh, um, you know, about 15 years ago, what I ended up doing was basically taking my comic book boxes and treating them as my furniture, which I think some people already do, right? So I don't buy racks for my comic books. Uh, my comic books are my furniture. So I treat them as sort of like Tetris pieces and I build what I need to build. Now, in the past, you know, I've made desks from them, you know, little, just uh, one level, two level storage spaces, or for this move right now, which I'm basically moving into my new space, is I needed sort of a, a bench space. So what I've done is, taken three stacks of comics and I've made sort of a workspace for myself right and this bottom level here is sitting on the ground um, and basically what I've sort of ended up doing um, I guess a, a while ago was um, because I've been around the construction industry I had access to a lot of plywood um, so basically what I end up doing is putting down a layer of comics right in in this direction right and what I do is I put a either a layer of plywood and for this and this batch here I got you know I had access to some um, I guess this is I think this is a laminate um, flooring okay uh, it could be hardwood but it's it's wood um, and it's got a little layer and I believe that's laminate or it could be hardwood. I'm not 100% sure. On the back of these things, it sort of states that it comes from a hardwood company, but um, I went online and looked and the hardwood company is debunked now. They went bankrupt about three, four years ago. So I couldn't figure out uh, if this was actually hardwood or laminate. Um, I don't know. Uh, anybody out there who actually does know, please let me know. I I think, uh, you know, it's got different colors to it. If you can see here, um, the tone going across and then it changes color. There's a small layer of hard, well, wood or laminate on top of it. Anyway, what I have is, you know, I had access to these things. So what I ended up doing on the bottom layer here, I put uh, four deep of these things, right? four deep of these things and I went their full length which was around 80 inches or so so I was able to fit 10 boxes in a row going across so what I did was what put one layer on the ground put a layer of comics down 10 10 comic book long boxes and then put another four of these things you know and they have little latches here and they fit together like tetris pieces i guess or lego pieces or however way you want to think about it and i put another layer of comics and then i put another layer of this and i put another layer on top and then i have a another layer of this four deep four side by side for the top layer and that's sort of my workbench and that you know when i stand up that comes out to my waist height okay and one of the reasons that i you know put these things between each rows because I want I want um, I want uh, the weight to be distributed evenly so there isn't too much pressure on one specific box okay and I've you know I have one um, I've set up one on this side and I have one on this side as well um, I have a fair you know fairly large collection I guess a medium or to large collection uh, and most of it being long boxes is easy uh, to put this together okay um, a couple of things you need to be careful with uh, one of them is if you're collecting over years decades uh, what happens is these long boxes oops let's do it like this these long boxes their height changes right so when you're laying them down 
I sort of picked all the boxes that were the same height for the first layer and I think the second layer is the same height as this and the top layer seems to be a little bit longer and I did the same thing on this side so you have to sort of pick your boxes put them make sure they're you know they're same height so they're all flush right so when you put these um, either this down or plywood down on this on this side you know I ran out of this and I had some extra plywood uh, you know that comes with me uh, I've done this for a while uh, and I use those and then I use these ones um, for whatever I needed to do and this is obviously a cut piece and I sort of cut and make it um, according to what I need okay so for this move what I've done is made basically made two benches one on this side one on this side previously what I had done was you know I worked myself into a corner and I basically made myself a corner desk and oh, I, you know if I recall correctly uh, what I did was because uh, two two rows was you know not high enough for me to slip my feet under um, under uh, um, the road that was going across the wood that was going across what I did was lift up the stuff um, from either I think I did it on the second row I put little blocks in and just lifted it up so you know I could easily just get it in and out right so that's one thing you have to be careful with um, make sure you're you know putting your rows in with the comic book uh, boxes being the same height so they're flush right the other thing you have to be careful with is um, comic books weigh a lot okay and three rows hot <coughs> sorry uh, three rows uh, high and ten together uh, weighs a fair bit so what you need to do is make sure that wherever you're setting this up can take the weight okay and I usually you know I've never really gone more than three rows uh, every now and then I put a box on top of this and you know work on I take the comics out and you know if I need to read if I need to do some other stuff right so you know I don't go th higher than three uh, three rows because these books weigh a lot so um, you know that's another thing you have to be careful with um, and I guess the third thing you have to be careful with uh, these are comic books so no water on the table okay and if you do have uh, you know when I did have the desk when I had water I was extremely careful you know and it was um, when I did have the desk I had one plywood that went all the way across so if I had any spills no water went through if you're putting it together with either hardware or laminate you got to be make sure you know because these are only this deep if you do have a spill you might get water spilling down into you know on top of the comics so you know don't have any liquids uh, on top of your workbench that's a good rule in general anyway uh, no matter what it is that you're working with right uh, so that's sort of the way I manage my comic books and uh, the plus side of this is it is easy to take down easy to put together right I'm, I don't have to go out and buy new furniture because this is you know a bench a table whatever I want it to be right sometimes I just layer them and sort of make bookshelves right you know the one comic book layer and then um, put the wood and then treat a couple of boxes going up as pillars put another one and put books line them up either graphic novels or just you know I have some fair bit of math books math books or whatever I need right so I treat them as building blocks right easy to take out easy to put together you don't have to buy extra furniture so it does sort of save you money and it saves you a lot of space and it's to a certain degree hassle free when you're doing a move because you don't have to you know big pieces of furniture going around you know going up the stairs down the stairs all you got to do is take your comic book boxes right and um, for now anyway you know all of these boxes are long boxes well majority of them are long boxes because I can carry them for now at some point you know hopefully much much later in the future I'll probably switch everything up to short boxes because they won't be as heavy right as um, as far as accessibility goes for the comic books the top boxes you can access easy they come in and out the second row um, 
about half the boxes you can access or in this one I've put together about half the boxes I can access okay so if there's comic books that I do want to have access to that I want to get in there and get into the boxes I put those on the top row okay uh, the middle row usually you can access them if I need to I take one box off couple of boxes off and you know lifts up the weight a little bit because they're not a hundred percent flush right the boxes vary because these boxes you know some of these boxes were bought 30 years ago some have been bought uh, you know as recently as a few months ago right um, so you know they're they're not a hundred percent the same height so sometimes some of the boxes are taking a little bit more weight as far as the bottom row goes I don't have access to them right now and I don't need access to them right away if I do need access to them what I do I sort of you know you can take out a V start taking up the top boxes free up a f you know some here and then you can access the whichever one you want right sort of a V going down okay and one other thing um, I should mention is the if you need access to anything behind the boxes um, like a power outlet uh, electrical outlet and stuff like this all you need to do is put a little gap between the boxes and go through the boxes which is what I've done here right there's an electrical outlet behind right behind this you know this position here right so instead of going from behind um, behind the boxes there what I did was put a little gap and go through the boxes and that is pretty useful right and all I do is just bring an electrical outlet I got a power power cable uh, over here so you know all my power needs are are right there and I have one on this side as well right so you know that makes it everything flush against the wall so it makes this side you know fairly even easily uh, you know it doesn't look messy or anything like this and no cables are coming up from the top I just come from the bottom okay um, so that's one thing you might consider if you do plan on building something like this if you do have power outlet in the back you know put a little gap uh, enough that the plug goes in plus a little wiggle room you don't want to be putting too much pressure you know on the plug going into the outlet right or any pressure right so you know leave enough room that the plug goes into the outlet and there's a little bit of space a little bit of gap and you know the wire comes out easily there's no pressure on it um, and it makes it functional okay uh, hopefully this gives you ideas maybe I'll save you some space uh, some headaches if you're collecting a lot and you're hitting that level where the boxes are becoming you know you need to do something you need to manage them um, use them as Tetris pieces building blocks right make yourself a bench make yourself a stand make yourself a bookshelf if you need to right make yourself a desk uh, because you can with these boxes they can they can take a fair bit of weight and if you're putting layers of wood uh, plywood laminate hardwood whatever between them then the weight is distributed evenly and um, you won't you won't do any damage really to your comic books okay that's it for now i'll see you guys in the next video